Join me as I take my dog to work. The day starts with a bit of chaos. Buddy decided to rip up this box and throw it all around the front room. We take the essentials to work with us. That's his water bowl, some treats, some poo bags, and some toys to keep him occupied. Before going to work, we check on the chickens in the garden. It was pretty cold out, so I just need to make sure that the water wasn't frozen. It was. After sorting that out, I just checked that they were happy. Chicken little in the corner, probably laying an egg. A little bit of love for Hey Hey. Check on the eggs incubating. And it's time to go to work. Grab Buddy's leave, out the front door, and off on the first leg of our journey, which is a car drive to the train station. Given the fact it was like minus three, push all the buttons to one of the car, and then try this technique that I learned on TikTok to make it easier to ice the car. I'm not entirely sure it worked. We parked the car up and walked to the train station. Buddy made me his own little personalized hand warmer. Delightful. Grabbed a train ticket at the station at £24.80 and then waited for a delayed train to arrive. Buddy kept my feet warm. That was very nice of him. And then we dropped the Thames link all the way down to London. It was pretty quiet that morning, so I actually managed to get a seat, which was nice, looking out the window. When I take Buddy to work, we get off at London Blackfriars. Um, the Circle Line is just easier to take the bigger dogs on. And we take that through to London Victoria. Pretty simple. Once we get to London Victoria, it's only a five minute walk to the office. And in the office, Buddy knows exactly where to go and leads me to my desk. The first thing we do when we get to the office is sort Buddy out with some water, a couple of bottles. I leave him with one of my team to have a drink whilst I go and sort out my own drink. I make myself a mediocre coffee with some average latte art. From there, it's meeting after meeting. We sit in this small room and catch up with one of my colleagues in Singapore. Buddy wasn't interested and had a nap. Back to my desk for some more water. He then has a little nap at my desk. I do some work. He annoys all my desk neighbors by chewing a really noisy chew toy. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Before my next meeting, I grab a drink from the Mercury kitchen. Buddy's not allowed in there, so I ask him to politely wait in the corridor whilst I grab a can. And after that meeting, I tell Buddy it's time to head out for lunch. We only take a small walk around Victoria lunchtime to have him to stretch his legs, go to the toilet, etc. It's good enough for him. Despite being cold, it was pretty sunny out. And I love the National Express because wherever I go, I can express myself nationally. When we get back into the office, I take Buddy to my desk. I then go and get some lunch. There wasn't a huge amount left, but what there was was nice. We walk past the Dougler wall. I check out the pictures and Buddy drops a lot of hints that he wants me to give him some treats. More meetings, more naps, more naps at the desk. He has a really tough life, this dog. Uh, it's getting late in the day now, so I pick up my laptop. Buddy actually thinks at this point we're going home. Sadly, we are not. We have one more meeting to get to. He wasn't keen on that. Uh, I gave him some attention because of that in the meeting. Wasn't really paying attention. Uh, at 5.30, I tell him it's home time. He's happy. Let's go home. Though it's home. Anyway, we walk through Victoria. He has a weed. We then head through the station to the underground and go from Victoria all the way up to Finsbury Park. There is a train ride from Finsbury Park back to Stevenage. He's pretty tired, so just chills out at this point. From the station, it was a short walk back to my car. Buddy made me another hand warmer en route. It got quite cold again during the evening, so the car was frozen, but I couldn't be bothered to scrape it. It's about a 20 minute drive from the station back home. Let Buddy walk himself back to the front door. When I got in, I was viciously attacked by another dog. Here you can see him running towards me. He sniffed to check who I am before carrying out the attack. Buddy has his dinner. Winston had his about half an hour before we got home. And then it's cuddles on the sofa in front of the TV. Bye.